It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tip Pack Dole. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. studio audience, welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. Our current champion is really doing a job on her opponent. So far, she's beaten seven. She's picked up a brand new car along the way, and uh, well, at the end of our last show, she didn't have a chance to play up against the dragon. She's going to do that right now. Charlie, bring her out. But Jim, our current champion is a flight attendant whose interests include cooking and photography. Her winnings total in cash and prizes, $28,000, made Dana Chosky. Here you are again, Dana. Now, you know, in our last show, you talked about the fact that you hoped to buy a piano, a player piano, mm -hmm. right? What else do you have planned for all of your winnings? Well, my husband and I right now are in the process of selling our house and buying a new house. And uh, one of the reasons that uh, we were going to sell our house is because our house wasn't big enough to have a piano. <laughs> so now <laughs> I'm going to have to look for a house that's big enough to get a piano in it. <laughs> well, it sounds like a worthy cause. Yeah. Wish you luck on that. So far, you've picked up $28,000. Yeah. You ready to play against the dragon? I'm ready. Come on over. Let's do it. Okay. Back here to the hot seat again, oh, or the yeah. hot area of the stage. Right. You've done well against the dragon. Yes, last I time, had good luck. Last time I think he beat you, didn't he? He did. I, right. I listened to Rolf and lost. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to blame it on Rolf. Huh? Hey, let's find out. Behind these numbers are very smart some money. There's a tick, attack, and the dragon. You want to get the tick, the tack, or reach $1,000 or more, and here's what you'll win. Charlie, tell her. Well, Danny, you just need to make a few adjustments to truly enjoy these gifts. First, Anna, adjust the eyepiece, and you'll bring the heavens into focus through this powerful telescope. See the stars with this astronomical telescope by Bushnell, one of the finest telescopes in the world. Big 910 millimeter objective lens focal length brings heavenly bodies 227 times closer, furnished by Bushnell, than it's simple to Big 910 millimeter objective lens focal length brings heavenly bodies 227 times closer. Furnished by Bushnell, then it's simple to adjust the height for just the position you want in this comfortable recliner. Deep plush seats highlighted by wicker frame and slender graceful design are blended into contemporary luxury trade wind. Action recliner from Lane. Next, tune in to any of 30 different channels on this scanner radio. Regency's 30 channel programmable scanner alarm clock lets you hear police, fire, and emergency radio traffic transmissions as they happen, furnished by Regency. And finally, Dana, here's a gift worth more than $1,000 that will leave you with plenty of leisure time once you adjust the settings of this automatic washer and dryer. Exclusive Space Mates Lawn Repair. Full-size stackable washer and dryer installed in 27 inches. Front-loading washer uses less water, detergent, and bleach than top loaders. Electric or gas dryer available from White Westinghouse. This adjustments package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,000. $1,350. Well, I'd love to get a telescope. Yeah, it'd be good for things like the Halley's Comet, right? Right. This and is the time of year to get it. Wash and dry will look good in your brand new home yeah, if you can right. get that. Get it. Just yeah. beat the dragon. Okay. That's what you got to do. Of course, get the tick and the tack. You'll get the dough automatically. Okay. Where are you going to go first? What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to go to number one. Number one. She looks for right For Amanda again. For Amanda, your niece. Okay. 250 All right. Let's hear it for Amanda. <laughs> Perhaps your friends are going to egg you on that. What do you want to do? <laughs> well, Roger's is saying four, so I'll go with him. All right, going to let him ch uh, Number four, right below the number one. Tack. Okay. Need a tick or 750. What's next? Lots oh, of choices. Oh, boy. Who's... Okay, number seven. Number seven, right below the 250 and the tack. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out where the dragon was. Where was he this time? Behind number three, you successfully avoided him. Great. Now you're up to a grand total in cash and prizes, $31,350. It is great. Congratulations. We're going to see if you can beat your next opponent, but first we'll take a break. We'll come back right after this. Welcome to To Tell the Truth. Skin with Dove Body Wash. 
Well, our champ just beat the dragon one more time. Dan, are you ready to meet your next opponent? I sure am. Well, good. Charlie O'Donnell, please bring her out for us. Okay. My pleasure, Jim. He's a writer who's seen over 15,000 films. Meet Bill Hayden. Hi, Bill. 15,000 films? You must really like popcorn, Bill. No, uh, <laughs> uh, I started this long before there was any popcorn to be had in theaters. Why have you seen so many? Well, I've been involved in theaters all my life, from usher to doorman to janitor to projectionist, manager, owner. I mean, you see a lot of pictures. Totally involved in the movie industry. You know, you think about, you said 15,000 movies times about an hour and a half each. That's uh, 22, 23,000 hours of uh, viewing movies. You must love it. Right? Well, I certainly do. It's been a love affair all my life. As a matter of fact, you know, you go into a theater, you sit down in an auditorium, the lights dim down, the curtains open up, the picture's on the screen, then for 90 minutes or two hours, you don't care what goes on the rest of the world. You just kind of lose yourself in the movie, huh? Right. Well, I can't keep you in the dark any longer about what the nine categories are going to be. Here they are for this game between you and Dana. Scary things, trivia dare, general science, clothes styles, football, take two, maps of nations, three to win, and U.S. politics. Red boxes, special categories, I'll describe them if they come up during this game. Dana, as the champion, go ahead and lead us off. I think I'll start with maps of nations in the lower left corner. All right, Dana, take a look at this map. The basic unit of money in this country is called the Balboa. It is named for the Spanish explorer who struggled through the jungles of this narrow nation and became the first European to see the east coast of the Pacific Ocean. Name the country. Panama. Right. <laughs> Panama, of course, famous for the Panama Canal. Put an X on the board for you, Dana. Maps of Nations, $200 pot. Let's move those categories around. And turn it over to you, Bill, for a selection. Okay, let's try uh, clothes styles in the middle. Center box question. You'll have some extra time to think over the two answers we need here, Bill. I'll describe two types of hats usually associated with certain countries. You name those hats. Number one, this soft visorless cap is often associated with French artists, and it takes its name from the Latin for hooded cape. Also, number two, this broad-brimmed hat is worn by Mexican cowboys or dancers. It takes its name from the Spanish word meaning shade. Here's your extra time. All right, Bill, two types of hats usually associated with certain countries are these. Number one, this soft visorless cap is often associated with French artists. Name it. Beret. Beret is right. Number two, this broad-brimmed hat is worn by Mexican cowboys or dancers. Name it. Sombrero. You have the center box. <laughs> Okay, and roll those R's, Bill. Put an O in the center box. $500 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories again and get back to you, Dana. I'll take maps of nations in the upper right-hand corner. You're going to stay with that category. Here's the question. In fact, take a look at this map, Dana. Not until 1971 did this European nation first allow women to vote in national elections. Name that nation. Switzerland. Right you are. You definitely know your geography, Dana. Congrats on that one. Put another X on the board for Maps of Nations. $700 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Okay, Bill. Well, I think I should try Maps of Nations. Going to try your hand at this category this time. All right, Bill, I must ask you to take a look at this map now. Each year, this island nation produces more ships and automobiles than any country in the world. Name it. Japan. Of course, Japan is right. Or Nippon could have said that as well. Maps of Nations gets an O this time. $900 pot. We're going to take a break and be back after these brief words. All you need is one chip in the middle. I'll give you an extra time. Right in the middle of a game between Dana Chosky and Bill Hayden. We have an even game, in fact. $900 pot. It's time to shuffle. Dana. I'll take clothes styles for the block. Going for a block this time. Okay. This popular type of man's sweater buttons up the front and usually has no collar. It is named after a British earl who led the famous ill-fated Charge of the Light Brigade for a block. Name that type of sweater. Cardigan. Right. <laughs> he was Jane Brudnell, uh, the seventh earl of Cardigan. How about that? Okay. Clothes styles. Get an X. 
$1,100 pot. Let's go ahead and shuffle with four boxes remaining. Bill. Well, it isn't my field, but general science will have to do for the block. Okay. Attempting to block Dana this time. During his lifetime, this Austrian monk named Gregor was ignored by the scientific world. But today, we know that his experiments with plants led him to discover the basic principles of heredity and genetics. For a block, name him. Hieronymus. No, Mendel. Mendel. Gregor Mendel. Box goes unclaimed. $1,100 pot. Let's shuffle. Dana. I'll take clothes styles for the win. All right, Dana. If you can answer this question successfully, you'll win your eighth game of tic-tac-toe. Listen carefully. Okay. This famous English university has given its name to a type of man's shoe that ties over the instep and a finely woven cotton fabric used in making sportswear and dress shirts. For tic-tac-toe, and a grand total now of $32,650, name that university. Oxford. You win! Oxford Shoe and the Oxford Cloth, very well known, both of them. Vertical tic-tac-toe, $1,300, Dana, added to your previous winnings. You're up to now $32,650. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. We'll see how well you do against the dragon okay. in one moment. Bill Hayden, you are one interesting individual and a great addition to the show today. Well, I didn't see one movie too many. <laughs> you, you were fun to have on the show today, Bill. We, we express our thanks for coming on Tic Tac Doe. We have some nice parting gifts for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Dana, ready to do it against the dragon? I'm ready. Come on over. Let's try it. You're excited. I'm very excited. I couldn't tell. <laughs> hey, the dragon's jumping around. He's going to find a place to hide here in a second. But you know, we need some prizes first. Let's find out from Charlie O'Donnell what's at stake. Okay. Well, Danny, you'll have plenty to do when you hit the beach with these great gifts. First, Danny, you'll plunge into the waves in this stylish swimwear. His and her active and daytime sportswear by Catalina. Combining fresh good looks and rich in the textured easy care fabrics. Appropriate for any sport and leisure activities. Fashions by Catalina. Then you can take a run or relax listening to the latest bestsellers on a portable headset with these audio cassettes. Book cassettes, unabridged bestsellers performed on tape. Now you may read with your ears as you drive, walk, jog, or just relax. Book cassettes at leading stores. Next, for high-tech beachcombing, you can't beat this remarkable metal detector. A white metal detector featuring ground exclusion balance to help you locate coins, jewelry, and precious metals while excluding mineralized soil from White's electronics. And finally, Dana, to give you a better chance of finding lost treasure, we'll send you to a very special place where pirates once sailed, in the beautiful Bahamas! In the 18th century, these islands were a favorite pirate haunt, now an idyllic vacation spot. Sunbathe and swim on golden beaches, enjoy balmy evenings and sparkling nightlife, surrounded by the breathtaking natural splendors of these romantic islands. We'll fly you to Miami via Continental Airlines, flying to over 70 cities, featuring the wide-bodied in-flight lounge, the pub. Enjoy the comfort, style, and friendly service of a truly continental carrier. While there, you'll stay at the Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino on exciting Grand Bahama Island, offering tennis, swimming, casino, gourmet cuisine, and international entertainment. Furnished by Bahama Princess Resort and Casino, this beach activities package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,700. Sounds like a nice beach activity package. Yes, it does. Well, you got to beat the dragon. I know. You've done well. I, I have. I've really been lucky. You have been lucky. Let's hope it lasts. Okay. He's found a place to hide. Where do you want to go okay. first? Have some help from the audience and your friends out there? Okay, six. Number six. Here we go. 150. That'll do in a pinch. 850 to go. Okay, Four. five. All right, number five, right next door. Four hundred. All right, just four fifty to go. Or a chicken attack. What do you think? Okay, one. Number one. This is for Amanda. All my ones are for Amanda. All you need to tick a tick now, or or four fifty. What's next? I think I'm going to go to three. The audience was very quiet on that one. They were. Number three. 
Darn. Let's find out where the tick was and the rest of the money. The tick was right next right door. Next door. Missed it that time. I should have listened to him. Well, so far you've picked up $32,650. Thank you. Very nice. And you're going to find out who your next challenger is right after these words. Don't go away. Introducing Fanatics.ca. It's a delicious way to get a source of fiber daily. Try it today. Our champion is doing very, very well. Dana, so far, has defeated eight opponents. Time to meet number nine. You ready, Dana? I'm ready. All right, let's bring him out, Charlie. Jim, our next contestant is a teacher whose interests include languages and walking. Meet Melanie Mueller. Hi, Melanie. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Where do you teach? I teach at fourth grade Los Amigos in Cucamonga. Really? Why did you decide? It must be an interesting decision to decide to teach younger children as opposed to high school or, or college age. What led to you doing that? Uh, they're real fun at that age, and they're, they still have that eagerness to learn. So you enjoy that? Yes. The zest for life is in the fourth grade, right? Right. Do you think any of your students are watching today? They always watch my every move, yeah. They do? <laughs> yeah. You've got a fan club out there. Well, okay, we're going to find out to see how well Miss Mueller does in this game of tic-tac-toe right now. Here are the categories for this game. They are names the same, number please, opera, country music, quotes, it's a dilemma, mixed words, seesaw, and situation comedies or sitcoms. Dana, you're the champ. Start us off. I think I'm going to go with quotes in the middle. You're going to go for that center box starting out this game, huh? Okay, mm -hmm. you'll have some extra time. The much-quoted maxim, God helps them that help themselves, appeared at the front of this famous almanac written by one of America's founding fathers. We're looking for the name of that famous American and also give me the pen name he used when he wrote that almanac. Here's your extra time. <laughs> Dana, the much-quoted maxim, God helps them that help themselves, appeared at the front of this famous almanac written by one of America's founding fathers. Name that famous American. Benjamin Franklin. Right. Now, give me the pen name he used when he wrote that almanac. Poor Richard? Yes! You got it! That looked like a guess, Dana, was it? It was back in my mind, but I wasn't sure it was right. <laughs> I could see your brain working, just it trying was. to find it. You did it. Good job. We have uh, X for quotes, center box, $300 pot. Let's shuffle. Over to you, Melanie. Ooh. I'll take mixed words, please. Mixed words? Yeah. All right, here's the question. Take a look at this mixed up word, Melanie. Unscramble this word to reveal something that happens years after you graduate from high school. Reunion? Reunion is right. Of course. R-E-U-N-I-O-N. You got it, Melanie. Put an O on the board for mixed words. $500 pot now. Let's shuffle. Turn it back to you, Dana. I'm going to try names the same in the upper right-hand corner. All right, Dana, here's the question. This pioneer jazz pianist named Yubi shares his last name with a tough guy actor named Robert, who starred in the TV detective series Beretta. What's the last name they have in common? Blake. Right you are. Yubi and Robert Blake. Put an X on the board for names the same. We now have a $700 pot. <laughs> We're over to you, Melanie. I'll take Seesaw for the black, please. Okay, going for the block, Seesaw is the special category you both get to play. You want it for a block, Melanie. Dana, if you get this box, you'll win your ninth game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Now, I'll read a question with a number of answers to it, and you both will Seesaw back and forth, offering answers until one of you repeats, misses, or takes too much time. And then the other person will then get the box. V8 Vegetable Juice Cocktail received its name because it contains the juice of eight different vegetables. We're looking for those names of those vegetables. Melanie, you chose the box. Decide who goes first. I'll, I'll go first, please. You'll go first? Mm -hmm. All right, go. Tomatoes. Tomatoes on the list. Celery. Celery's there. Carrots. Melanie? Carrots is right. Back to you, Dana. Uh, peas? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Melanie, you have the block. <laughs> 
The other ones on this list, we have beets, lettuce, parsley, spinach, and watercress. They all make up the V8 cocktail juice. We'll take a break and come right back. You got the car. Who wants to make a deal? I want a deal. I'll take the money. Let's make a deal. Today at 5 on Game TV. Grab your dancing shoes and get ready to bust a move. Welcome to the all new Remastered Dancer. I love this show. Well, masked celebrities face off in an epic dance competition. You're my favorite dancer in the competition. Mainly because we dress the same. <laughs> Michael Bublé. My Cyrus. Can you guess who's behind the mask? Wow. The Masked Dancer. UK edition. Premieres Sunday, April 17th at 7.30. Only on Game TV. If you would like information on how to join us in the studio audience or how to be a contestant here on Tic Tac Doe, then drop us a postcard. Make sure it's a postcard. Drop it to Tic Tac Doe, Post Office Box 950, Los Angeles, California 90048. That's Tic Tac Doe, Post Office Box 950, Los Angeles, California 90048. Or call us at 213 277 6000. That's 213 277 6000. We'll pick up where we left off uh, this time next time. Melanie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wish you the best of luck okay. when we come back on our next Tic Tac Doe. Dana, you did really well today. Congratulations. Thank you very You'll much. You'll come back next time with $32,650. We'll see if you can up that total next time. I'm Jim Caldwell. Bye-bye. Some of our contestants will say, introducing a different barbecue recipe from all new shake and bake coating mix. It's a whole new recipe for success. Barbecue style. Fight plaque and reduce gum disease with the Butler Gum Toothbrush. And save with your coupon in this week's newspaper. Get Butler Gum, the better brush. Curel Moisturizing Lotion. Most women agree. Curel ends dry skin. Father Flanagan, you've got dirty dentures. Heavens! I just soaked them. Brushing with denture cream gets dentures much cleaner. Denture cream is a miracle. Tic Tac Doe is a Jack Marion Denon Ray production.